What is up Clemson Nation? What's up TCC guys? I know it's Friday. I wish I could have gotten a video out earlier because this is the big game of the week this week. But um been busy, so let's get straight into it. I want to make this short and sweet. Alright. Florida State Hate Week 2014. Obviously the biggest story is Jameis Winston's gonna be sitting out for the half. And people are coming around saying that if Clemson can pull this off, there will be an asterisk beside it. Nah. Nah. See, Florida State, it's it's your quarterback's fault. Blame him. When he grows up, then you won't have to deal with this kind of stuff anymore. Okay? This is James's fault if that has a factor in the game. That being said, Florida State plus, uh, still has plenty of weapons. Uh, we know, I mean, they have people like Green who can just come up, I mean, just make plays like, like it's nothing. So they're still going to have plenty of weapons. They still have everybody but Jameis. Jameis was not the sole reason they won a national championship last year. I and mean, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a really tough game, uh, regardless of Jameis playing in the first half. Clemson's going to have to bring their A game. And I know we're pumped up. We're a little pissed off, pumped up, emotions uh, everywhere for this Clemson football team right now. Had a week off. Uh, that Georgia game, the fourth quarter was a disaster. The second half was a disaster for the offense. The offense lost that game. Uh, put way too much. The, well, the defense stayed on the field the whole time. You're not going to win when your defense is on the field the whole time. There's not a defense in the country that would have stopped Georgia uh, in the scenario that we were in. Um, and that's going to be really the key for us having a chance in this game is the line play. Now, the defensive line can do what they're going to do. They, they played pretty good against Georgia. It wasn't their fault that they were on the field the whole time against a team that runs the ball. Uh, that's just not going to work out good for you. The offensive line is going to have to come in here and play superb. I mean, they're going to have to play lights out the whole game. The whole game. You're not going to be able to take drives off or anything because that is the only way that we're going to win this game. Because if the offensive line can hold then we have playmakers out the wazoo who are going to be making plays uh, this game. Deshaun Watson will come in and he'll have his drives in. Deshaun Watson could outshine Jameis in this game if he plays in the second half. I mean, let's be honest. Jameis is a great quarterback, but so is Deshaun. And, um, you know, people that are starting to make a name for themselves, like Scott on the offense, you know, we're still going to have Pete back there. Still going to have Humphreys. Uh, as far as running backs, man, a lot of people want to see Adam Choice run the ball some more. And uh, Gallman, it's our little power guy, man. We, we're, we're loaded at running back, too. We don't have a, a Heisman candidate, but we have a ton of talent back there. And we're going to have more next year, too. But this game, you know, we've got a stable of running backs, stable of wide receivers, stable of quarterbacks. We just need the offensive line to show up. You know, we're going to have some people who didn't get to play because of suspensions in the Georgia game. We're going to have those guys back for this game. That'll obviously help. Um, I, I just can't emphasize enough how much the line play is going to be key in this game. And <clears throat> the defense is going to have to, they're going to have to bring their A game too. I mean, obviously, everybody on the team is going to have to bring their A game. We're going to have to play mean. We're going to have to play pissed off. And we're going to have to execute. The play calling is going to have to be better than it was in the second half against Georgia, too. So many changes I hope I see from that Georgia game. And I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't see it. Because these coordinators are making more money than any other coordinators in the country. So they better get their stuff together and have everything set. Because it doesn't get any bigger than this. Clemson wins this game. We win the ACC. We're back in the playoff picture. You know, how much better do you feel about the season if you can find a way to beat the number one team on their field? You know, we, it, we'd win the ACC. Let's be honest. If we can find a way to beat Florida State, this is pretty much a semifinal game for the ACC championship. This is the division championship, and it's been that way for years. And we, we just, last year, we just just did not show up. We played about as bad as humanly possible. Gave them touchdowns, turned the ball over early twice to set up easy touchdowns for Florida State. You know, we just, we cannot make anything near those mistakes if we want to have even a chance in this game. Now, Florida State was the better team last year. I'm not trying to dispute that at all. Clemson couldn't have played any worse, and we're going to have to play so much better. So much better than we did. Florida State's going to come in here in Tallahassee, where we haven't won since 2006. And, you know, I think part of the Jameis suspension thing might actually hurt us, because, you know, coming in the second half, regardless of what the score is, if Clemson's up, if we're barely down, um, and it's going to be a close game at halftime. There's a 100% chance of that in my mind. 
you know, Jameis coming in is going to get their whole team pumped up and fired up and all that and going to add extra, an extra something to their first few drives. Another reason that if we have a chance, we definitely need to defer to the second half, Dabo, instead of taking the ball first, defer to the second half so we can keep Jameis off the field the first possession, maybe go down there and score or get some points to uh, quiet the crowd a little bit. But I think that's going to be such a tough challenge starting the second half. But, uh, Jameis, you got nobody to blame but yourself. And, um, man, a defense is going to have to bring it when Jameis comes in. They're going to have to bring it the whole game, but they cannot let up at all. If we're having success in the first half on defense, we're going to have to we're going to have to bring it all. I don't want to see it. If we're being aggressive in the first half, trying to get to the quarterback and, you know, since he's he's young, trying to throw him off and stuff, since he's never started before, I don't want to see that change much from the second half until Jameis makes it change. I want to see, I don't want to see more timid play calling or anything like that in the second half. We have to be aggressive to win this game. And that's just the way it's going to be. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't know how... I don't even I don't even have a prediction really for this game. I just know that it'll be a lot closer. I think it'll be more of a classic Clemson Florida State game. Last year was definitely an anomaly. They had been great games before that, worthy of game day, and I, I expect to see something like that again this year. You know, last year I don't see that happening again, and you know the Clemson. This is Clemson's opportunity. You cannot you can't just waste a bunch of opportunities. We've wasted one opportunity on the road against the big team. Cannot waste another one. This is for the conference championship. This is for all the marbles uh, and a playoff opportunity. So I think we all know who what we're playing for here. And we're going to come out fired up, motivated. And we'll just have to see what happens. Go Tigers. Let's do it. Tombstone game. Bring it back.